Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we are once again playing Stardew Valley. It is wonderful to have you here. We loved you. We and missed you. I look forward to another 30 to 45 minutes of us uh. just hanging out and not judging each other. <laughs> <laughs> Judgment free, except for when I judge your gameplay or when you judge my gameplay. Well, yes, we can judge each other, but we won't judge the viewers. Yeah, you'll never be judged. We don't know who you are. So we can't judge you. Yep. <laughs> anyway, today's a luau. Um, our melons are ready. Just, just fucking rattle the couch. Uh, no. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> no is a true answer. <laughs> I felt that in my body. I'm sorry. Are you sure? I wonder if the mic picked that up. I doubt oh, it. I got a large egg. Finally. Wonderful. That goes to the um, community center. Yay. Oh, I have two gold eggs. Did the melons come in? Yes. Should yeah. we put a silver melon in the thingy or a gold egg in the thingy? I would say melons. You don't think egg goes good in soup? Uh... No. You've never had egg drop soup? I... I think gold eggs sell more than if you turn it into mayo. What? What do? The egg. Just a gold egg on its own sells more than than the comparable mayo. That is possible. I believe that is true. I'm just gonna sell these. Do we need them for anything? What? The gold eggs. No. <laughs> <laughs> I just keep expecting the conversation to have changed while I zone out for like three <laughs> seconds. <laughs> Well, we have no more seeds. We have no seeds? Where are where are all of our seeds? I ate them. Why did you eat them? They are where our seeds. There are shit tons of mixed seeds. Ah, uh, fine. This is what do we plant here instead of the melons? Mixed seeds? Sure. I'll plant mixed seeds. All I've seeds. got over here is strawberry with that spring seed. Mixed seeds! In fact, actually, you. If it is a seed, I planted mixed seed. Excellent. It what would you like done. to put in the soup? We've got melon, melon, pepper, pepper. I vote pepper, golden pepper. All right. I'm going to do this. Gold star pepper. That's a pepper who's never been with any other uh, type of vegetable. <laughs> <laughs> Peppers are actually a fruit. Oh, I was really happy that you did that. What? I, I had a little heart over my head because you gave me the pepper. Yes, you asked for it. It was a gift. And you my asked character was for really it. jazzed up about it. I did. I just didn't know that she would know that I was so happy about it. I'm proud of her for knowing. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just wandering aimlessly back and forth in that little field. Where are you going? Uh, I'm going up to the community center real quick to deliver this melon. I'm gonna put my egg in there. That's an excellent idea. Because the luau... It just began. Yeah, it just started. We can come back. <coughs> Which thingy does that egg go in, do you know? Uh, I believe this one up here. Ah, uh, it's to the left. Yeah, the animal bundle. Awesome. Then all we need is a blueberry. Well, we cannot both interact with the bundles. Right, yeah, that one. The animal bundle. I've only got one. I need more animals. Do any of those fruit need to go into it? Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Oh, and the blackberry. Uh, I know the blackberry will go down below. I don't know where the peach will go. It'll go in one of those two rooms on your side for sure. Uh, no. Yeah. Oop. Come on. Put you over here. Even though I know you're gonna move. We still need two more forageables. Yeah, but that's for fall. That season oh. hasn't even started. We right, just got just getting early somehow. Yeah. From the I got it from the Bat Cave. Ah, the Batman. From Batman. Ah. Okay, he doesn't go over here. Yeah, it's probably in one of those. Yeah, there it is. Artisan. 
Ta-da! Now we just need an orange and an apricot. Or honey, or, or cheese. cheese. Or jelly. Jelly. Excellent. Jelly is very likely very soon. Yes. Um, uh, heading down to the beach now. Let us to the luau! Not in the place anymore. I found the glasses place. and the trashes. That's exciting. You found actual trash in the trash. Yeah. How weird. Who to thunk? Who to thunk? Who's to thunk? I don't know actually. Huh. Probably shouldn't be talking about them then. Maybe not. <laughs> We're sorry to thunk. Sorry about that. At Dethunk Luau. on Twitter is like, thanks. <laughs> uh, I like how we all just refuse to call it anything but Twitter. It's called Twitter. It is called Twitter. You can't change the name of something after it's been around for so long. The URL is still Twitter. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure anything else would change. It got and in certain <laughs> countries for trying to have X in the URL. Because they saw that as porn. Yeah, so it still redirects to Twitter. Yep. <sighs> Success! Successful rename, I'd say. <sighs> marketing, marketing, marketing. Say it three times fast and you just might get lucky. You'll summon uh, the ghost of Steve Jobs. Because he died from homeopathic medicine. Well, he died from cancer. He just didn't cure his cancer with homeopathic medicine. Uh, we, oh, right. We weren't recording that conversation. Uh, oh, no. And we began a conversation right before we started recording about uh, Scrabble. Yeah, Scrabble and an old Jewish woman that you played with. Oh, yeah, Joan. Good old Joan. I miss Joan. She was like a second mother. And then she went and died on me. As as most people who you outlive do. I'd say everyone you outlive dies on you. Yeah. Otherwise you didn't outlive them. By definition. Exactly. I think I have now, oh no, I haven't talked to everybody yet. I'm almost there. Do we have to talk to them or just put shit in the pot? Uh, pot. Pot. Pot! <laughs> have my character Ellie, use put pot. Put a melon in the potluck soup. And if you want to see if you talk to everyone, you can go to the heart menu. And, uh, <clears throat> you can see the checkbox for who you talk to. Yeah. Oh, I miss Jody and Demetrius. Yeah, they're. And, ooh, someone else. And Lewis! Well, yeah, that sounds right. I'm worried uh, about talking to him. Where are Jody and Demetrius? Jody is right here next to me. Oh, there you are. And Demetrius and Robin are dancing out on the floor. How did I not talk to him? I swear I talked to him. Apparently I didn't. Now I gotta talk to Lewis. Lewis? Luke Sharp, the governor's here for his annual visit. If you want something for the potluck, make sure to add it to the soup cauldron. Now let's begin. Let's boogie. Yeah, wrist. Let's jam the soup all up in our gullet holes. Oh yeah. We got sweet and spicy soup. We Sounds put in a melon and a pepper. I'm into it. Right? I would eat this. I think he's gonna like it. He's gonna say, this is a very complex and flavorful soup. Indeed. How could he say anything else? My hopes are now set very, very high. Yeah, he's I'm gonna sure love it. Flip down gently, even if they are not quite met. He's gonna love it. What the fuck, you, you piece of shit! You fucking piece of shit! I'll fucking kill you! I'll kill your mother! I'll, I'll kill, kill your you dog! dog! I'll kill your mom's dog! I'll kill your dog's face! I'll kill your dog's dog's dog! I think I skipped a couple of those in there. I was too angry. Those ones get to live. I was too, I was too angry. 
They were closer relations to you than I could have killed first. <laughs> All right, well, I think it would have been a good soup, and I think he's a liar. Yeah, and, and I think can't he be trusted. just doesn't like good food. He doesn't know what's good. Right? He literally wouldn't know good soup if it splashed on his tongue. He wouldn't know good soup if it came on his tits. Uh... <laughs> I don't know how to respond. That's where all of uh, that's where more seeds are. That's not where all of yeah. There's lots are. of parsnips right here. Those are spring seeds. We don't need spring seeds. Yeah, they're, that's why they're here. We don't need them. But I have them here. Eat them. I'll eat these seeds. I'll consume these 40 parsnip seeds before bed. Oh, I had my hoe the whole time. <laughs> that was a fine cackle. <laughs> I leveled up. I'm a much more proficient hoe. You're a better hoe than you were yesterday. That's the goal. Perhaps tomorrow you'll even be a better hoe than you were today. We made 2020. 2020. Four years ago. Oh. I don't care for that. <laughs> I don't imagine you do. Very spirits are upset today. Ooh, and it's gonna be a thunderstorm tomorrow. They're very displeased today. They will do their best to make your life difficult. Because fuck How's that you different than normal? Specifically. Um, it's a Friday. We could visit the traveling merchant. She might have something. Where did the other chicken go? Are you still in the house? Well, you are. Look at you still being chickeny in here. I'm just chickening it up in here. Ch ch chicken it up. Uh, Bock you, that's what. Go bock yourself. Yeah. I'm foul mouth chicken. Fuck off! How is foul spelled? Ah! <laughs> a mocking comedian! Ah, uh, I love chickens. You know who my favorite game show host was? Bob Bocker! Favorite comedian? Colin Bockery! Is Colin Mockery too obscure for you? I think so. Okay. There's a quality sprinkler for sale for 1800 bucks here. I honestly never use those. Really? Yep. Huh. Well, we already got the puffer fish. Here's pickles. I bet she makes good pickles. Oh, I bet she makes amazing pickles. You can have a globe. Or a rare seed. Only a thousand bucks for that rare seed. And a puffer fish. Have we already gotten a puffer fish? Yes, I just checked. Okay. Oh, we need, um, um, fiddlehead fern, which we can only get by getting into the secret forest during the summer. Is that when, what season it is now? Yes. I'll go get my chair. Thank you. Don't you worry. I'll, I'll get my chair and come back with a fern. I'll give you what fern. I am going to... <laughs> Get some fishing gear and head down to the beach and try and catch a legendary fish. A legendary fern. Oh. <clears throat> well, okay. the red fern grows. Did you ever read that book? Oh my god, I did. I loved that book. Oh yeah, like... It made me fucking <clears throat> sob, though. Oh yeah, it would have made me sob if I weren't dead on the inside. Oh. Even as a child? I was traumatized very early on. Oh, yeah, I suppose so. <laughs> I, I've told you these stories. Chair. And I don't think they're really show quality. No. <laughs> Last time How I ended I up mentioning the them on the show. Uh, triggers, I believe. Triggers or buttons? Or bumper? No? Mm -hmm. No to both. Directional path? No, that moves me. Oh. Did it? No. I think is it, it might be is it Y. Doing it? Try Y. 
No, that sucks. No. Hmm. Oh, it's A. A. Obviously. How unintuitive. How unintuitively obvious. How do I place it? I would have guessed A, but try B? <laughs> the, um, it's Y, of course. Why, of course. <laughs> Why, of course. <laughs> Why, of course. Oh, my. That sounded weird, I bet. Yeah, and loud. Anyway. Enjoy collecting some hard wood. It's the best kind of wood. My favorite wood is always hard. Whoa, 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 whoa! Whoa! I need to take it the There's fuck the easy. There's the fiddlehead fern. Perfect. Told you I'd get it. Yeah, then just take that to the community center when you get the chance. The mutiny center. Commutiny? Oh no. Co-mutiny center. It's where we go to mutinize as a group. You hear that, Lewis? Fuck you. We're mutinizing. We're mutinizing. mutinizing. We, shall, we shall be mutineers. <clears throat> I realize if I only have a bamboo pole, I have no chance of catching the crimson fish. Yeah. Also, we can't get over there without 300 wood. Yeah, that too. I'm just gonna go fishing. Sometimes you just wanna go fishing. Hello, Elliot. He understands that you just wanna go fishing. Right? In the hot, dizzy air. Standing hot on the hot summer, summer sidewalk. sidewalk. <laughs> that one I get. Whoa. Bloom Blitz Farm has earned 50,000 gold! Oh, yeah! You're, um, kind of shaking your foot a little bit. Oh. Sorry. It's okay. I forgive you. This time. You're very sensitive to me shaking the... shaking things today. Uh, yeah, I think I probably am most of the time. Yeah, or maybe I'm just extra vibrational today. Oh god, I can't get into the chair. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe this direction? Yep, that's the one. Chair! Good old chair glitch. Think he'd fix it if it wasn't a, like, a speedrun glitch. Yeah, that makes sense. He's kind of a bro. He's kind of a cool dude. I don't know his name. Nor do I. But we know he's a bro. He's a bro. Stand up type bro. You know? Don't yeah. you know? Get, it. get that fish. Oh, I'm gonna. Don't let it get away. Come to me, you tilapia. Ooh, delicious. They are not saltwater fish. They are? They are not. Huh. They are delicious. Oh, yes, I love tilapia, but I was misinformed. Apparently, I was not the only. Are you sure they're not saltwater fish? Uh, unless the I was misinformed about all of the tilapia I've caught in freshwater lakes in Florida. That's an excellent counterpoint. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I have caught and eaten a number of tilapia fish out of freshwater lakes in Florida. Well, the video game is on my side, so I have to check now. Yes, you do. Your integrity is at stake. Not my integrity, but some cer but certainly some validation. Your validity is at stake. Maybe I should have put gold star mayonnaise into this into the scene. I sure they would have loved that. <laughs> Tasty soup mayonnaise. All right, let's see. Well, I got nice mayonnaise, heavy soup, don't you? I yeah. Oh, mayonnaise based soup. Now we're talking. Yeah. The kind of soup that can hold a spoon up on its own. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I hate that I described it that way. You can stick your spoon in like a candle. Yeah. Like it holds it up like a cake. Like you just chair your spoon in there. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, 
Where does the fiddlehead fern go? Uh, Where does the red fern grow? Oh, that one, uh, the billboard on the right side of the building. Does, uh, I can't, uh, never mind. I can't remember the name of the guy from Where the Red Fern Grows. The movie was not as good as the book. There's also a Where the Red Fern Grows 2 movie, which was, uh, not really related. Didn't, didn't much care for it, I'd say. Mainly freshwater fish inhabiting shallow streams, rivers, and lakes. Less commonly found in brackish water. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Not not really salt water, though. Yeah. Oh, well. Yeah, I could just see... I could see them ending up in brackish water just because of, like, where I have found them in Florida leads to brackish. What is brackish? Oh, it's where fresh water meets salt water. So it's happening. Oh, okay. So I assume they can't really live in salt water, but they'll hang out there just because that's where they ended up. Yeah. So, in that case, it makes sense that they're here on the shore. Somewhere. Why is that? I mean, maybe if you were over closer to that stream that pours into it. See, like, they could now. I fear. I theorize. Mm -hmm. That the salt content of Stardew Valley, wor Stardew Valley's world's oceans, is lower than our ocean salt content. I could see them being over here. This would make sense, but that is also an interesting head cannon choice. Yes, it because you can also fill up your watering can with ocean water. Oh, that's true. Mm -hmm. I think this is a bit fresher than than you think. Lower salinity, the Stardew Valley seas. Head cannon. Please confirm concern date. Please send all missives, miss, missives concerning the topic to concern date, and not the Rogues Gallery Incorporated. We're a corporation. Sure. Why not? Cool. Would probably be a, a an a LLC. Are we incorporated because I've begun assimilating your body cell by cell? Stop. We, I've asked you to stop eating my my cells. I'm not eating them. You're assimilating them. Are you becoming me? Uh, yeah, that's what assimilation is. Huh. I become you, you become me. I don't consent to this. Well, the process has already started. I... I once we've started, we can't stop. I can't undo the bonding! Mine cannot be unmelded! <laughs> well, I got a halibut. That's why you go fishing. Just for the halibut. Good joke! Funny ah. joke! Ah, I am. Please laugh. Funny, by definition. Mathematically humorous. I hit. I almost hit the the bird. Ah, I love it when we terrorize animals. They're near. There aren't the bird. birds in where you are, or where they are off my screen. Mm -hmm. So I can there see are. your fishing pole, mm -hmm. or your bobber. God, I want to go fishing. I want to go camping again. It's been so goddamn long since I've gone camping. <clears throat> Give me a goddamn tent and fishing pole. We should we should bring the missus and the mister off for a camping fishing uh, trip. Absolutely. I would love to show you my fish gutting technique. You have a technique? Yes, I have a technique that allows me to pull out the guts without actually touching them. I don't remove the guts, I just fillet the fish. I'm a filet. Ah, see, that's not how my family did. Will you... I think it's because we saved them. We'd freeze them. Keep them for a little while longer. We'd save the fillets, but it takes up way less space in the freezer if you just freeze a fillet. Ah, well then I don't know why my pen would do that. May have simply been lack of knowing about. Oh, I got a max cast and I still didn't hit the damn bird. Any hoozle. I have, but yes, I am. We would gut the fish and I learned a certain way to do it without having to actually touch the organs. Huh. It was quite nice, because I did not want to do that part. 
Well, that's fair. Mainly the texture issue. <laughs> Damn you, bird! This is my last catch, and then I'm gonna head back. And I guess that's fair. Come on! Come on, fish! Fight! At least I didn't hit the button this time. Aww. Well. One more. Yeah, right? It's only 11. And I fit. Ah, so, fun fact about me. I once caught three rainbow trout on one fishing line. That is a fun fact. My dad has a photo of it somewhere in, like, one of my, the old photo books. Because this was, let's see, when was this? 99, I want to say? 1999? Ah, uh, yeah, I, uh, I was a little kid. A it wee was... one. What? A wee one. A wee little babe. Uh, babe. And, well, it was the height of uh, trout breeding season, and there was a uh, trout farm near us. It was trout fucking season it was. <laughs> Indeed it was. Anyway, um... Willie, do you want a fish? He does not like most fish. Does he like halibut? No. Can I, does he want an urchin? Definitely not. Aw. Does he want a, a salmon berry? Probably not. Or algae? It's 1230. Or seaweed? I don't think he likes any of the have things you seaweed. have. seaweed! He likes pumpkins! I don't have any pumpkins! Well, that's too bad for you. We'll he didn't grow like a the whole seaweed bunch I gave in him. the next season. Why did he like my gift of pocket seaweed? It was nice and slimy and cold. It's Why no, didn't he it, like it? It was warm from being in my pocket <laughs> for the past several hours. While I stood upon- Do you want some seaweed from my pocket, Emily? I bet she'd like a fish from my pocket. I bet she'd like an anemone. <clears throat> she'd like an anemone? She'd like an anemone. An anemone? Or uh, an urchin. It's not even an anemone. We don't have recycling machines. That is correct. Sell my urchin and my stick. And my garbage. And my other garbage. And even more of my garbage. But I keep my algae and my seaweed for snack time late. It is for snack times! Then I sleep. <laughs> oh god! Times. I oh, pulled god. a bed like goblin! You just leap on in. I leapt into your bed like goblin right before fall asleep time. God, I heard, okay, so one time I was uh, staying with my mom and she had friends come over and I was hiding in my room because, you know, I'm antisocial like that. Well, sure. And they came in to say hello and drag me out and be social. And her friend just comedically, like, it's lands raining. on the bed, flops straight on down, and uh, you hear a loud crack uh. and the frame of the bed broke. <laughs> and I'm just sitting there like, why am I the mature one? <laughs> <laughs> I realize now, of course, you know, the best part about being an adult is being a child. Well, being an adult is realizing that there is actually not such a thing, and you can be as childish as you want. Yeah, that too. That, yeah. As an adult, I can attest that they are definitely not a real thing. There's never a point where you're like, and I'm grown up. Well, I, I did it. I'm, I'm here now. If you, I mean, to be fair, you do think that. You do think that a few times. You're wrong, but well, you do think that a few times. There's, like, the objective realization that I have as an old person that I'm, like, old. I know that I'm old. Like, oh, God, I'm an adult. I'm too old to be anything other than an adult, so... I'm the responsible one. Right, and that's a horrifying realization to come to, that I am as responsible as you're gonna get. There's... And I'm not really... I've been watching Mob Psycho, and the main character's teacher, or mentor, uh, oh. is a con artist who pretends to be a psychic. <laughs> well, all psychics are con artists. Uh, yes, but the Mob Psycho is about an esper. 
So there are actual espers and psychics and spirits, but uh, he is a con artist. Well, and no, I cannot see any of it. I'm still going to call shenanigans on the whole lot of them. That's fine. Um. Anyway. He has you... to step up and be like the adult several times. And it it's interesting to watch like just a completely unqualified adult be the most adult person in the room. <laughs> If you're selling medium surfaces, you're a you're a charlatan. Oh yes, absolutely. And none of the actual espers usually bother with the whole selling thing. There's like a whole underground organization. And he got to slap them around because he convinced Mob to let him handle it. Look, I'm willing to tell you what I think a ghost said to me, but I'm not gonna charge you for it. Right? <laughs> Look, they they never shut up. Maybe if I get you to hear them, they'll leave me alone. I'm objectively <laughs> aware that what I'm experiencing is probably referred to as mental illness, and that's fine. I'm not going to charge you money for my mental illness. That feels like charlatanry. That is chicanery, <laughs> if you will. I shan't oh. partake of this chicanery. I won't be a chicanerer. I shan't chicane. <laughs> you shan't chicane? I shan't. You shat sugar cane? <laughs> I'll never be sugar cane. No matter how hard I try, no matter how much I pray, I'll never be sugar cane. If, uh, oh. if reincarnation is a thing, maybe, but... I'm not willing to place money on any kind of afterlife situation, I'll be honest. Well, what point would putting money on it even serve? It's you a don't get figure to of speech. Well, I obviously don't get to keep the money. It doesn't work in this scenario, so I'm being pedantic about it. Well, make it. it work. That's not how making things work works. <laughs> <laughs> I saw the new season of Rick and Morty. It was pretty good. It, it actually really had... It actually had, uh, like, early Rick and Morty vibes. <laughs> New voice actor be damned, it felt a lot more like early Rick and Morty than the last several seasons of Rick and Morty have. Yeah, I, I think doing the thing they did was the right call. Maybe getting once his ass off and just, like, uh, you know, letting the writers write the show and having voice actors act the show was a good choice. Exactly. Damnedest thing! It's weird, huh? Who would have thunk? I'm an actor, so like I appreciate that I am not a writer. I'll bullshit. I can improvise real good, but oh, I'm absolutely. not a writer. We will bullshit and improvise all the live long day. Yeah, I'm not like I'll give you minutia about my character that you might not have thought of that I'm using to fuel the bullshit, but uh yeah, I'm not a writer. See, now the writer's trick is just fusing those two things. Yeah, it, the, the best writing comes from those two things. Like, I as a performer am going to tell you things about my character as I learn them. Uh, yeah, honestly, <clears throat> um, when I'm writing and I need to know something about a character, sometimes I don't actually know. Ask the character. Exactly. So, fun, fun little bit. I guess this doesn't really prove my point, but kind of did for a minute before I figured it out. <laughs> I don't know. I kind of had to go outside of the character's timeline in order to figure out what exactly happened. Oh, uh, that's not really asking your character. Exactly. Yeah. Um. Anyway, I'm doing a One Piece campaign. One of the characters we're doing since this post the show, uh, one of the characters is... Buggy's granddaughter Ow. named Buggy Jr. She's uh, hot. She she is. Uh, that was kind of unintentional, but I guess I'm just attracted to acrobats. Hey, it happens. It's attractive bats. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Who amongst bats. us isn't? Uh, oh, wait. I put down my uh, controller. While yeah, I, why did you do that? I was talking with my hands. Well, yeah, but they can't see your hands. Well, that's their thoughts. Um, you do have beautiful hands. I do. I do. They're very soft, too. <laughs> um, 
Anyway, this delicious algae so I can pick up these cool things that I found. I was trying to figure out whether ah. these characters were actually related. Ah. Because she's too young to be Buggy's daughter because it's been too long and he's like 90 Is this or... a lipstick? What the fuck? Oh, that's a strange bun. It's food. Ah. Um, strange buns. Yeah, since this is like 60 years after the show, because I wanted to get far enough out of canon to Damn, you justify bad. anything. Uh, I have to drop something and you're hitting me. I wish I hadn't brought my chair with me. She's too young to be his daughter. So I tried at figuring out what their relation was. Turns out when I asked the characters, neither of them actually knew. Huh. They don't know if they're actually related, but they do look an awful lot alike. They do act similar. So I had to go outside of the characters' time, individual timelines in order to, uh, you know, figure out. And they are related. They're grandfather and daughter. Oh, I see. Uh, I thought you were going to say they just both have decided that they're related, and so that's what they're going with. That's what I was going with originally, but it turns out Buggy had a bastard son who was a bastard father. <laughs> <laughs> a bastard father? Who embastardized someone? Yeah, he just, you know, fucked off before Buggy Jr. was born. She ended up becoming clown. Doesn't know her father, who... What a clown. ...was also Buggy's son. And so he just... Are you saying not knowing her father makes her a clown? No. No. But the lack of, you know, proper parental influence probably definitely led to her being so stabby. Because she is very stabby. Well, you know, laudable trait in a pirate, though. Exactly. I found a yeti tooth. You hit hard. You do hit hard. You hit very hard. Aha, finally cooked a fish. Hey, Bat, I'm going to try out my cool new sword. It hits you so hard. Oh, yeah, he does in three hits now. Come here, Slime, I got a new sword. Alright, the slime still takes several hits. Bats don't. Yeah, the knockback does not help. Ah, uh, damn. Fish got away. One, two. There. Awesome. Ooh. Oh, God! Oh, oh, yeah. Fuck. When world building, I have two two main tactics. One, one is, you know, ask characters and they just kind of talk to me. Ah. Uh, the other Shit. works kind of like Google Maps, but also with a time function. Oh, God. There's three bats coming at me all at once. <laughs> so I'm able to just sort of, like, click on an item, rewind its timeline, fast Yay. forward its timeline, and just kind of go back and forth like Ooh. that for a little. 30 to 45, are you better than the one I just found? Probably. You are. Although this would give me four defense. Is that only when you're blocking? Or just in know. general? Plus 10 crit power is hardcore. That is good. Uh, can I just put you in here? No. Yeah, you'll just have to toss I'm something. I'm gonna ditch this quartz. If you go to the um, Adventurer's Guild, you can sell these excess swords. Yeah, I was thinking that. They're open till like 10 or 11. Oh, the Yeti Tooth is a level 7 sword. A yeah, that defense is, is crazy. A level is Obsidian Edge? 6. Okay. And that, no, actually, I can pick up my Minus 1 speed. Edge. Yeah, how are... Oh. Well, you're definitely slower. And the damage is only slightly higher. I think he might not be better. Plus four defense feels really good. Yeah, I would go with that. Even if I don't 100% know how it applies. Well, it's just when you block, it's like an automatic defense. It's full defense. There's not really any question about whether or... There's not a difference in how much damage you take. Totally. Okay, so it only mitigates, like, all of it. Yeah, that's what I assume. Get rid of... Oh, I already tossed the coal. 
Okay, get rid of slime next if you need to get rid of another thing. That's what I was gonna do. Great minds. Oh god, I cannot run away from you guys. You're too. You gooped me. They goobered you. Whoa. Oh, oh, I'm fishing and you're fighting, and the game is like, hey now. Hey, you're you both all stars, but you need to shut the fuck up and sit down. Maybe you don't need to get your game on and go play just this moment. Getting paid, I get it. Hey now, you're an all-star. You know, you're an all-star. Get, get paid. I need to eat several salmon berries before I continue on my mind journey. A mind journey. It's like 10. 10, I'm not sure if you'll make it to 95. You might make it to 95. You might make it to 95. Come here, loser. I'm gonna chop your whole dick off. Did you see me chop his dick off? That's right. So this Sunday and next, w and upcoming Wednesday, uh, it's Thursday. Really, so. Next Sunday and Wednesday is Casablanca. Yeah, the theater. Really? Yes. With and get this part: additional Looney Tune short at the beginning called Carrot Blanca. <clears throat> well, that sounds magnificent. Right. Sounds absolutely wonderful. Carrot Blanca. Is it a classic or a new one? I think it's a classic. Ah. Uh, that sounds like a blast. When is it showing you, did you say? Sunday and Wednesday. I'm not sure of the times just yet, but I'll figure that out. Yeah, that's kind of intriguing. Did I get you with the Carrot Blanca? Uh, honestly, you had me with Casablanca, but the Carrot Blanca is a easy extra sell. <laughs> It's a nice little extra barb on that a, hook. Yeah, that is a, that is a pretty good uh, attack on there. Loser! He's a loser! Alright, come on, I just need one more ladder. Want this one fish? Come on, ladder. Fish! Wow, he's really putting up a fight. Oh yeah, and I have a tiny little bar. My, my bar is so small. It's not about the size of your bar. Oh! 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 Uh, holy shit, I found it. Okay, I'm getting out of here. It just hit one. I think I can make it back in time. You are not gonna succeed. That Fuck fish, you! That fish is winning this fight. Oh! Ooh, shit! This is a battle for the ages. Ah, oh, God, I had to blink. Ah, <laughs> oh, God, I don't think I blinked that entire goddamn time. That was a oh. long fish fight. Oh, my eye! That was like a genuine battle with that fish. Oh, God, it's late. I might not make it. Oh, that feels worse than when the snow hit me in the eye. Which oh. really hurt more mentally than this it did is... physically. Oh no, I'm not. Oh no! Passed out on the front lawn again. <laughs> if I had a nickel. <laughs> I'm usually sensible enough to pass out in the backyard. Ooh, fun passing out story. I passed, I, 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 uh, I passed out alone at home the other day. Uh-huh. Um... It's a fun way to spend a Saturday. Anyway, good night, folks. <laughs> See you next time here at the, the Rogues, Rogues Gallery. Gallery. <laughs> uh, my uh, shoulder still kind of hurts. <laughs>